Hi everybody, Evan here back again, Vineyard HVAC Services, going to show you the TPXXL and how I have it loaded up. This is uh, my lovely daughter, Emily. Emily, say hi. Hi. Okay, so, uh, peep game, guys. This is, uh, I'm out here on my iPad, so check this out. Bam. Cross the beverage on deck. Okay, so here it is, loaded, uh, what, you know, kind of my everyday needs as far as HVAC service uh -huh. and maintenance. Um, I'm gonna watch the camera and show you guys here. So first I got my M12 Milwaukee. This thing is just amazing. Use it for everything. Um, it's there. And the side like I showed you guys in the other video. I have my field piece 640 in the side. Now, the only bummer about this bag also, um, if you look at the side meter pockets here, it does, this side doesn't zip down all the way, the other side does. So it's kind of a thing, you're going to get stuff out and you got to basically just kind of peel this open to get in there. But I run my fill piece meter in here like this, you know, just because I love this meter so much and yeah, me too. don't want to be caught without it. So that guy goes in there. Okay. And then I have some of the alligator Dad. clip leads that I keep with it in there. Daddy, you don't push me off. Go play, okay. Oh. And the side pouch here, nothing. I have nothing in there right now. No. Um, tape clip, tape hanger, whatever. Um, this side meter pocket here, um, there's back to that Klein light that yeah, I like so much. Showed you guys about that. Here. Cheap tape measure from Harbor Freight. Uh, my battery charger, um, yeah, that is power bank Tesla. thing, um, use this, so there's so many rechargeable tools and lights nowadays, that stays in there. Yeah. This side pocket here, um, not completely sure how to, what to keep in here, but I have my fluke temperature gun, I have this bit set uh, for the impact in there, that stays in there. Um, in the front here, the DeWalt right angle uh, drill adapter. This thing is super clutch. Always uh, is the one thing that is the one thing that you need, and the only thing that'll work most times when you're in a tight space. A pen, a reamer, it stays on the side of my service wrench with the uh, hex key in it. Um, just down in uh -huh. the Emily, down in the front here, I got my Klein uh, multi-bit thermostat screwdriver whatever the three two five eight one is the part number on that love that thing a marker up front here in milwaukee um the klein infrared pen tester voltage tester love this thing don't use it a lot but it's nice to know that i can do temperature and check for power so that's in there now here on the side bit extension you know um, I decided to open, I look down inside here, um, I kept the V-swap panel inside here and still had room to get my uh, parts container and my little gear wrench uh, uh, mini driver set yeah. in there. So that's that's what's going on in there. So I just got some of the Nipex stuff here, which I really love. Um, the Nipex side cutters, long handle, nice leverage. These are extremely well made feel great the nipex i think these are 10 inch cobra pliers these are dope again to the front with the nipex the smaller lineman's pliers these are great the long needle nose pliers um you get these in a kit guys you get i think that was a hundred bucks right there actually for those four um but you know have these forever unless i leave them or lose them on a roof or in a closet somewhere but anyway, in the side there now, up in the front top here nylog just some cheapy wire a jumper little popper always have those some other bits up in these bits up in these top pockets here these soft kind of nylon things um c and d valve uh security cap I tell you what, there's nothing worse than getting somewhere to look at a unit and you don't have the goddamn security cap 
tool to get in there. I tried everything. I tried drilling them out with the self-tapping screw. That didn't work, you know. Um, tried putting two Allen wrenches in the ones that have the two little holes and mm -hmm. twisting them. That got me nowhere. So that was like 30 bucks on Amazon, but it's universal. It's got all the pieces in it. Um, Schrader, a uh, core tool with traders in it, obviously. Mirror, um, got a couple of Klein here, the Klein multi-bit driver. This thing is sweet. The Klein, I don't know, HVAC 5 16 quarter inch. You move it in and, and lock it in either size you want. It's dope, pretty long, love this thing. Um, Klein side cutters, the only ones that I've ever used and that really you'll ever need. Make a good crimp with this every time. I've had this for over 10 years, but one of my favorite tools. Um, some Milwaukee screwdrivers in the top. Just these came in a set for like 20 bucks. And these are the kind of the shorter one, the six inch, I guess. I run those in there. Um, a couple of brushes, stainless steel and just plastic cleaning, you know, flame sensors, whatnot. Those go in there. These Klein hybrid type pliers, I guess. Um, these have a really good grip to them and good feel. Um, strip wires, grab, cramp, do all kinds of shit. With that. Say hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> and back to this. So the Baco 6 inch, the Klein adjustable, solid wrenches. Zip ties in the front so I can just reach for them and not have to flip or go around to the back of the bag to open that part up to get it. In the front, I have the Nipex six inch or seven inch, whatever, the little water Cobra pliers, the walkie knife. There's my parts container, that fits down in there and there's a ton of room inside this bag. The thing with, or the difference with this one to the TPXL was everything ended up being just crammed inside the TPXL and was really tight in, in there. This thing, again, I'll show you from the top, it's just so roomy inside and so so much height on the sides. Um, can really just load this thing up. There's 101 ways to load this, you know, and however you want to do it. Don't. The Southwire strippers, these are decent. Um, bought these used off somebody a while back. Um, Eklund um, Allen wrenches, these are in here. Do that over again because I just walked right into your video. That's fine. Say hi. That's my lovely wife Heather. Loves and supports all my tool purchases. Right, babe? Yeah. Thumbs up. Uh, the Klein scissors, little ones. Um, don't use these a whole lot, but they're there if I need them. Uh, fuse puller. One of these little lights, you get three a three pack from Costco, the Fiat, Fiat, Fiat whatever. Um, nice to have a little uh, spotlight in there. The heavy duty, I got a 10 in one, 11 in one, whatever from Klein. That's in there. Um, yeah, guys, so that's, that's pretty much that. The UEI temperature thermometer, the furnace clip, the Subco one and this one. You saw my last video. This one's super awesome. I highly recommend getting one of those. In the front, two stubbies. I have a stubby multi Klein and also a stubby 516 Klein. These I find using all the time and they live right in the front there. Mm -hmm. Core remover tool right there, the yellow jacket one. We all know what those are for. And in, down in here. Uh, forget who makes these grabber uh, you can get them at Home Depot yeah. one inch three quarter one half inch uh, conduit tighteners so you're not having to use a flathead and a hammer or a crescent to bang on your your fittings your liquid tight fittings or whatever other fittings you're doing this little Makita impact bit set kind of just have that in the front there when I need it little screwdriver from Johnstone that's in the front as well Milwaukee knife this thing's super good and yeah. a cheap little Johnstone from the counter razor knife when you need something real sharp to just make those quick cuts 
That's what that's for. So saw the sides. Let's go around to the back. Um, in this big mesh container here, I just have the magnetic parts tray from Harbor Freight, whatever, a uh, brush, a newer, a new brush, and then a one that I cut down to make it stiffer. Um, really comes in handy for cleaning the inside of evaporators and even condensers, things like that. So that's just in there for now. The Fiat headlight, it comes with the two pack from Costco and a cheap little throwaway tape measure. That's all in there. This is all kind of a work in progress. This is just what I had in my other bag that I knew I would need in here and just kind of filling it out, see how things go with this. Um, I do have the shoulder strap on now and this bag is so much taller that I don't find this being a problem of getting in the way um, or end up being under the bag when you go to set it down. It's just, it always kind of rests into the back. It's still new and stiff and everything, but um, it doesn't get in the way like it did on the smaller TPXL. So loving that. Here, um, nothing in here now, but I'm probably gonna put my iPad in here or my Samsung tablet. Um, I decided to keep my field tooth probes in their kit or case and not inside here. So this is pretty much it that I have in here and it's probably gonna end up staying like this. Um, so, yeah, that's the TPXXL. Um, it's opened up. Plenty of room in there, man. I love this bag. Hope everybody's digging this bag that got one. Mine came, mine came yesterday, day before yesterday, and I had pre-ordered, I had bought the MB3 before the spring promotion started, and I paid for the MB3. I paid 100 bucks for that, and then a couple weeks later, I saw the spring promotion and the MB3 was a free bag. So I called them and they said, we can't cancel your order, but you've already getting your free bag on the way in the MB3. Just pay the difference for the TPXXL, which I did end up being another hundred bucks or something. Um, so I got that. I got the two bags out of the deal there, which um, I'm loving. So that's what I'm rocking with now. Here's my MB3. I'll just show you guys real quick. I will do a video on this, on how I have this loaded out. Um, this bag is super functional and very, very uh, versatile. And I keep this bag in my truck as my quick kind of diagnostic always have with me bag. And um, gotta keep it hidden because motherfuckers are shysty. But anyway, that's another video okay. So yeah, thanks for watching again and uh, be on the lookout for more stuff, veto stuff, all my veto heads out there. Uh, you know, let's see your bags, man. Show me your loadouts. I love watching it. And uh, until next time, peace.